Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where we're we going. We're going to get our Everson. Yeah, I'm so excited. So we took a nice snooze. Peter edited the vlog. It's exporting now. Yes, yeah, so it'll be up a little bit later, but um, we're it's on our way to get. Is it really boring? I mean, it's exciting when you see me in the pouring rain. Yeah. But so yeah, that's our plan. We probably won't film like actually getting her, but we will show you once she's in the car with us. I think we might be giving her a bath tonight. Yeah. Hey, girly. Hey, girly, throw the gum drop. You gotta let me in <laughs> so I can drive. You could be so mad when we go because we can give you a bath. Yeah. Sick. Good girl. Look at she's home, everybody. She's so happy to be home with us again. She loves treats. She does love Sit. treats. She gets so amped, she just starts shaking. Sit. Good girly. And sit. Give your furrier since we left you. This is Treat Fest 2018. Sit. Good girl. So Peter is cleaning Eve. I just whipped up this chicken tomato buffalo -y cream sauce. The vlog is finally up. The vlog is up. We're gonna eat it with couscous on these old school Hercules plates. So we have to get better. We have to get back to eating better. Look at this clean puppy. She's clean and she's been super nice. Hey, Sid, can I show you the bow? Sid Eve. Oh, you can't see it there. Look at that red, white, and blue. Look at that. You got your 4th of July patriotism bow on just a little late, but it's always good <laughs> to celebrate July America. Is good, Call this Sarah? What? This is called a Friday night. It is Friday night. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Half the reason why I want to come to Disney Springs is to come to Sugarboo. I've been on a Sugarboo kick, it just reminds me of like downtown Chicago. But this is the book that I want to get. This I hope this is this is what I plan on being our child's first book ever right on the night now? you were born. No. It is adorable. If you have read this, let us know down below. And if you haven't, go to Amazon or Bookies or wherever you can buy a book and and find this book, this Nancy Tillman, on the night you were born. I also really want one of these chanchitos. They have these big ones and small ones too. I need one for my desk at work. Folklore. Folklore. All right, here is, I'm sure this will be down soon to make way for the new World of Disney signs. But this side's closed, we haven't been to, ooh, spooky. We haven't been to World of Disney since, what, it opened up last weekend? So we're gonna stop by there and check it out before we head up Giardelli, cause you know, gotta get our Giardelli on. There's a level of excitement and nervousness to Sarah because World of Disney was a staple of her growing up coming here on vacation. And it looks, oh, so different. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna say it matches Disney Springs very well like oh my god look how open and like all the brickwork 
It's very Disney's. I like it. I was nervous. So when they, I, I felt like it was gonna be a lot more modern. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like white. I mean, it's, yeah, like sterile modern. Not like, and this is so modern. But, it look how open it is. Wow, I love that. The big circle path. And I love the, these, the iron work and woodwork. Now I just want this to be done. It's gonna be very open once that's done. But like Sarah, think about how open that is. That'll be just as open this way. And this is like, oh, what do you say, half, 50% of the building? Because that side's pretty large. That's closed off. Wow. It's so, it looks, it feels bigger now. Like looking all the way at that corner. And all the way at that corner. What? We'll check that out right there. It says Grand Reveal Fall 2018. But we realized why we like it so much. It's got a very similar like feel to what Sarah and I want in our house one day. And it's also very reminiscent of the yeah, new Wilderness right. Lodge. Like with the brick and the wood, like dark wood and the iron. Like that like rustic lofty. feel. Lofty rustic but not old feel. Oh look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm very, to be honest, like, I'm very happy with it. I love the old, old, old Willow Disney, but that was getting outdated. I love this. I'm really happy with it. Oh, yeah. And I will say, I give it a thumbs up, A+. Plus. I'm really happy with Willow Disney, and it's not even done yet. But one thing I will say is, uh, RIP to the zombie pirates that used to be in this wall, in this wall. I miss them. I felt like they were like awkwardly unique, and I don't know. I like. I feel like they were better teamed with like when Walt Disney first opened, but I only started coming in 2011, so that's the only thing I know. Was like just like awkwardly placed zombie pirates. What do you think? You miss the zombie pirates? Ready for some chocolate? Let's be honest. This is the reason why I really want to come to Disney Springs. Was this in the basin? Fresh. Face, 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 Oh, it's so cold. Why? The holiday spirit is growing strong in us. We listened to what, like an hour and a half maybe? Of Christmas music on the drive back today. And we just kind of decided that we're bouncing back between Santa Claus, Home Alone, or a third option, we just don't know what the third option is yet. About what we're gonna watch it, because we're not staying out late. And she's probably gonna fall asleep on the couch. And I feel pretty good, because you know how little sleep we got? Like, I, I got like a good four hours when we took that nap earlier. I don't know if you didn't know that. But I got like a good four hours. And a good four hours for Peter Brookhart is like an eight, eight, to, an eight to 10 to the normal human being. So like, I'm like, you wanna go to the park? You wanna go home? Yeah, run? we would've gone to the park if, if we would've left a little so earlier. Yeah. If we would've gotten even, like if you would've shifted everything up two more hours, <laughs> we would've gone to a park. But we left I'm at 9.30. Yeah. And then tomorrow... It's like a first day of vacation when we started. <laughs> we live here. <laughs> Found at Goofy's Candy Company. Goofy's a manager. I never thought he'd be a manager. Right? So cute. Comment below if you've ever done the like build your own brownie, Rice Krispie treat, all that nonsense. The Americana mini Oh my gosh, this one's so lonely. It needs to be taken to a home. We're in Disney World, there's boats. There's one, boats, two, boats, three, boats, one, boats, two, boats. three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, one, two. this is a Dustin dance. <laughs> we, this month, we're going on a Disney World vacation. We're staying at a Disney Springs Resort, so we're gonna go on the boat. Old Key Whizzle.
apologize for that. I refuse. I apologize for nothing. I stand my ground. I'm proud of who I am. Wow, wow, we wow. Outdoor bar, beautiful tables. Could this only be the brand new crafted Italian Terralina? This, yes, you, oh my gosh. Oh, there might be some out here. This used to be the old Portobello. Um, Sarah and I had our third or three year anniversary, three year at dating anniversary of Portobello back in 2011. I was just telling Sarah, like, we're due for a date and like a table service, not like going in your face Disney, not like an Ohana or Chef Mickey's, but like one of these probably downtown or Disney Springs, like Paddlefish, Terralina, um, maybe even Marie and Enzo's. What are you talking about? Us going out to dinner soon? Yeah, going out to dinner soon. Unlike a not in your face Disney classic vacation restaurant, but a nice restaurant. Which one should you go to? I think one of those two. I think either Paddlefish here or Marie Yeah. Let us know down below what you guys think we should do. Um, to give you a frame of reference, we've not eaten a full dinner at any of them. We've been to the old Paddlefish, which was Fulton. Fulton's on the River. No, Fulton's Crab House. They used to own a restaurant called Fulton's on the River in Chicago on the river. We've been to the old Portobello, which is now Terralina, and Maria and Enzo's, we... We've only done the hideaway and keep the time. Yes. So let us know what you think. If you're going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp, get your photo op here. Oh, cute. Uh, so we're headed out of Disney Springs now to go home. I kind of want to go to the P.O. Box. It's late. It's 1130. We said we want to watch a Christmas movie. We also want to go to the parks during the day tomorrow. So, so go to the P.O. Box, go home, put on a Christmas movie, both of us fall asleep on the couch, wake up early. Success. He's the best greeter when you get home. What's the worst? We're back home. The worst is when you're like, have your mindset on something that you have or you're gonna do and then like you find out you can't so we've been in the Christmas spirit lately I think because it's like started for us and uh, we were at Disney Springs I'm like let's go let's go home and watch a movie and so we decided on Polar Express so we're gonna put on Polar Express and probably fall asleep in the couches so we're gonna do our sign off now but we were like set and Sarah's like yeah let's have hot chocolate I was like, yes let's make hot chocolate watch Polar Express Ooh, it started too fast. But we get home and I check like where we have. <laughs> so Christmassy. We I, we got home and um, I checked where we keep like the tea and the the hot cider and. I feel like I'm visualizing mom's container maybe. And Sarah thought we uh, Sarah thought she remembered us having hot chocolate, but it's we don't have any. I think I'm gonna make, there's one last thing, a cider. I think I'm gonna make a hot cider for me. Oh, that's yummy. You gonna share it? Okay, I'll make a tea and a hot cider. So. <laughs> but, we just had that fun little quick trip to Disney Springs. We're gonna get some good rest. And we're going back to the parks tomorrow. Haven't, you know what though? Yeah, Don't, we're not set on which one yet. Sarah's pushing for Magic Kingdom slash how it feels. I'm pushing for Epcot. It's my mother. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>